Hello everyone to my first good old tutorial series. In this tutorial series I'm going to create a lobby matchmaking system with a lobby and client project. So we need two projects. First of all we need the client project. Create it wherever you want to. We create it here. So create the client. And then I need another instance of the Godot engine and create another project. Oh, damn it. Now, server. And create the server project. And on the server project, we start by creating a node named server and attach a script to it named server. Delete this and save the server as a server scene. Then we delete everything in the server node and yeah then what do we need for the server? For the server we need a server port where the server is listening on. It must be above 1025 so I pick 3456 and we need <coughs> the maximum numbers of peers that could be connected to the server and rename the variable max players and set it to 1000. You all could also pick it to 20 or 100 or wherever you you think your server is handling the connections. So I go to 1000 players could connect to my server and then I need the ready function which starts every time when the server theme is loaded. So there we set up two signals that call a function in the signal going in network peer connected so we name it player connected then the player connected function gets called whenever a peer connects to the server so we need that function and we need another signal when the network peer is disconnected so when a player disconnects, they are connected. We also set up a function here. <coughs> and then we want to start the server. So we make a function, start the server, start server. And on the start with server function, we want to print out that the server is trying to create a server. Try to start the server. And then we create a peer variable where we are set saving the peer we are going to create. And then we try to create a server on the specific part we set up here. So we save the result in the variable <laughs> named result. Create a server. <coughs> and the max players we set up on the top. And then we check if the server isn't, can't create it correctly, then we print out failed creating the server and on the other side and then we turn so we break here and then on the other side we print just for debugging purposes created the server and then uh, here and then we add the peer to the tree network peer and that's it for starting up the server but now we want to listen when a player connects so we made here the function when a player connects so we print out and the methods get an id 
on default, so print id string, id and concatenate with uh, string, so uh, id call make that to the server, and on the other side we write the opposite, so this is gonna make it from the server. And that's it for the server. So we switch back to our client. You have two instances, what I mentioned before, the client we created at the start. So now we switch to the client. And first of all, on the client we go to the project settings and to the window. And I would like to change the resolutions to full HD. So yeah, and then we could delete this default thing, and then we create a node, same as on the server side, and then the client, and we attach a script named client, and then we delete our stuff here, like the server, and name the tree, uh, the scene, it's a client scene, and then we need the server port, like in the server, we here 3456 yeah. and we go to the client and also add the server port here. That's the same for from the server because the client wants to go to the same port as the server listening to. So now we need the server IP where the server is on. So the server is running on localhost in this case, so we write here the server IP. If you later have an online IP, you must check what's your IP and then give this port, route this port to the server. So on the router you set up the port, but that's not part of this tutorial. So we have the server IP and we want the variable connected false because if the client starts it isn't connected to the server yet. And then we need the ready function as well as on the server and there we have another signal connected to the server and then we want connected Connected to server name. We name it connected to server. You should. Uh, we should name it differently. Connected. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this function gets called. You could name it wherever you want. It could name it like that. Um, get called when the signal is going into this node. Then we want to initialize initialize our connection and then we need a function initialize our connection. Oop, and then we first now set up our client side so that we could initialize our connection for the client side. We need a timer so and set it to three seconds so it will be every three second call a function named timeout on our client so on timer timeout if the timer is running then send a signal to the client and then this function gets called so we initialize our connect and there we start the timer. So timer start. There we start the timer and on this timer we check if all the if we are connected. Now if we are not connected then connect 
to a server. And now we need this function connect to server. Function connect to server. And uh, we write another debug function. Try to join the server. And then we do the opposite si client side. So network and create the peer for the client. And then we create a client peer. Create a client peer. And the client peer need a server IP and a server port. You set up here. So that's it. We only need to add this peer to our tree. Network peer. That peer. Yeah. And then when this node starts, it initializes connection gets called and then the timer starts and the timer tries every three seconds to connect to the server and if it's connected then this function gets called connected okay and then we could stop the timer and we are connected to the server so we could print out connected and for later purposes we could add a GUI here so control A and then we add a control GUI and name it a control node and name it GUI and then we make it full screen or full our width and height we set up and then we add a button here and name it start button and then we add on the start button the pressed signal and add the pressed signal and the th pressed signal calls this function on start button pressed on the client and on the button node we also write the text connecting here and put it on the center here. So, and also disable the button. So when we are connecting to the server, the button is disabled. And so we go to the script. And when we are connected, we also could update. Select our button and disabled false. So the button is disabled false so the button is enabled and is clickable and when the button is clicked you could write here some debug message like join the lobby because we want a lobby matchmaking system and later you write something like get tree and change theme and then you write here lobby lobby but now we don't have a lobby scene so we just have a debug message that we are and we are clicking on this button then the button is enabled so the connected okay this method is has been called so we are connected to the server and I guess that's it for now. Yeah. Um, what, yeah. We also could add a function connect to server. We could also call the function connect to server here because if we initialize, or oh, we put the function on top of here because if the timer starts, the timer wait time first must run out and then after three seconds the method gets called so in this case we try to connect to the server and then the timer starts and after three seconds we try to again to connect to the server yeah so then 
we must start or we could in another case so we change the main theme and then we change the main theme to the client scene in the client on the client side and on the server side we also start it and select the server scene as the main theme and then in both cases we could export the project in this case you must click on export and then add a operating system where you're running the server on or the <coughs> Godot engine now so that you can test it. In my case it's Linux. If you are running Windows you click on Windows and on Mac you click on Mac. So I have Linux so I click on Linux and export the project and I go here to go to executables and then I save the file as server and then save and then for the client as well so export the project and save it as client yeah so now we are um, open up a terminal here or you just click on why this uh, client isn't here uh, project export export project go to this. oh I has a wrong folder so I save it again here and then we have these executables here so if I click on the client the client starts but it tries to connect and connect and it doesn't connect so if we also start the server here then the client connects the server so it's get enabled but because you doesn't it does start the both executables without a terminal so you doesn't get any feedback or doesn't get any printout messages restart it's a client here so we have a client here and then we go to the server and we start the server in the Godot engine so with the server here you see try to start the server created the server and then any ID connected to the server so that's our client and the client is connected and if we look into our terminal and here you see try to join try to join every three seconds the client tries to join the server and if we're connected we would join the lobby but that's up in the next tutorial i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs>